Uh, hey, so, um, it has been a while since I've done any videos on here. I went into 2020 thinking that I would, um, enjoy doing some videos on YouTube and just kind of creating a little bit more of a YouTube channel. So that is what I did. And then COVID hit. And um, I have two kids, you know, one of them is in virtual school, one of them is um, four years old, and I should say I have two little ones. I also have an older stepson who is at, um, 15, and my husband works from home. So, you know, we've had a lot to juggle this year, you know, as we all have. And um, it was difficult to do anything else except for basically maintain. You know, I also had a few other things that I had been working on. So it sort of fell to the back burner. But um, yeah, I've been interested in doing some video again. These are gonna be more of like studio vlogs. You know, I'm kind of new to YouTube myself. Like I was new about it. Of course, but I didn't, uh, I sort of thought of YouTube as just kind of having junk on here. Um, but actually, there's a lot of artists and designers now that I follow that are producing some pretty cool content on here. And my favorite style of videos is just sort of like while I'm doing something else, watching somebody else um, behind the scenes and sort of seeing, a, getting a peek into their uh, life and how they work and all that stuff, their process. So that's what I'm doing here. You know, you can always find me on Instagram. My handle is Pauline Stanley Studio. But you know, the thing about Instagram is that they have the algorithm, you know, the dreaded Instagram algorithm that all the artists complain about. And I mean, it's true. You have a lot of followers, but not everybody sees the things that you're posting and it's very fleeting. You spend so much time worrying about making stuff, posting stuff on there, and then it's gone, you know, I mean, not gone, but you know, it, it gets buried along with everything else going on out there. And um, yeah, so I wanted to put more of my time into making something that's a little bit more, has a little bit more staying power a little bit more longevity, you know, if you're making this stuff anyways to share, might as well be something that people can look back on and watch for a long time. So yeah, that's what you'll see here. I'll be sharing some, you know, behind the scenes processes, stuff I'm working on, and um, hopefully it'll be of some interest to you. You know, I have to get used to talking to um, a camera, which I'm not really used to doing. So that will be interesting. Um, we'll see how I like it. So hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy these videos. Please like and subscribe. It helps get the word out about the channel, this channel and helps the video rankings. I have a little bit of time to package up some orders. Um, so I'm gonna do that and um, take you through a few other things I'll do today. These are going to be some framed art prints that my studio assistant has framed for me. Um, she did most of the work already, but there were a few that I still had to do.
just giving you a little behind the scenes here. Um, this is something I'm working on today. I'm sort of trying to get this class together on some abstract mark making patterns and I am finishing up the filming of it. Um, probably be on Skillshare, maybe on my own website too. I'm not sure yet, but I'll definitely talk more about that when that time comes. These are some of the patterns I did in the class as examples. And then this is some of the finished work I did. I'm gonna have it's some even visitors. Colder. It's even colder <laughs> now. It's even and while my computer is out here, this is something else I was working on this weekend. Um, my Senators and Scouts and I did a little class for his scouts about nature, patterns in nature, um, which is sort of right in my wheelhouse. So I was happy to do this and sort of started with like, you know, the paintings that I had. And then I did examples of others, like this was spots. And then there was examples of other spots in nature. This was stripes. And this is this um, meandering pattern. Symmetry, honeycomb, you know, the hexagon, concentric circles, spiral, polka dots, who doesn't love polka dots? And this is just some um, rocks where I just reference different patterns in the rocks. So yeah, it was fun. And then I just put all of my illustrations together. Um, and then I made this sort of kid friendly drawing guide for them. It was actually really cute. It was fun. Um, the scouts did a little virtual camping, um, which was really nice for the kids to be able to do something, you know, with COVID going on right now. Um, they really can't meet with their troops. So um, the scout leader reached out to us to see if we wanted to do any art or craft activities. And she suggested something about design and nature, which I thought was just like, oh, I'm actually thinking about this a lot lately. Um, a lot of my work has to do with um, patterns and nature. I've actually been thinking this year, it's on one of my goals. We'll see if I get to it this year, of doing a children's book um, about patterns in nature. And so it's something I kind of was working on for the past couple weeks. And then I got sucked into other <laughs> projects and I sort of put this on the back burner. So it was fun to sort of think about this some more and you know keep the idea in my head and then also sort of have a little almost focus group of children where i could run this by them and see their interest level and uh sort of get an idea of like what else i needed and everything so it was actually pretty fun and um it was presenting virtually, which was something I had never done before, but it went over okay and the kids seemed to have fun and I had fun, so. And it also gave me some ideas and gave me some ideas of where else I need to fill in this concept if I do actually want it to be in a book. Hello. Um, it is Friday, yay. And I am just finishing up my work week. Um, although, let's be honest, I am still working this weekend. But it always feels good on Friday because um, my kids are done with school, so we don't have to worry about that. I don't have the regular everyday grind of the kids and the getting everything in before the mail comes and all that stuff. and. Um, I don't know, it's just nice to have a weekend, even though sometimes it's kind of the same as every other day of the week. 
So I was just here finishing up my class for Skillshare or my website or whatever I'm gonna do with this. I still haven't decided. But yeah, so I was working on that and I have been trying to get back into reading more lately. I finished the Scott Pilgrim series. Um, my stepson is a huge fan, so he had the series and he has been pressuring me to finish them. And so I have, I used to read a lot more, but I really haven't been reading that much lately. You know, ever since I've had kids lately is five years. Um, but I'm trying to make it a goal to um, do more of that because it does make me happy. It makes me feel relaxed. Um, it makes me feel creative. Graphic novels is a really easy way to do that. So that's what I have been doing lately. Um, I moved on because I finished that and I was looking for other graphic novels that are um, similar style. I don't even know how I found this one that I got. It's called Paper Girls. I don't even know where I found it. It was on a list somewhere, but it looked interesting. It's definitely got a um, Stranger Things vibe, the show. I've been having fun with that. It's got some pretty cool artwork in it, and um, the story is definitely interesting. It's set in the 80s, but it's got a whole time travel theme going on. So yeah, I am about to finish that, and then I should get the next book in the series. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of that this weekend, and then... Oh, I got a um, keyboard, a new keyboard synth. I used to play more music back in the day, and um, I have moved on to different artistic endeavors, including the one that where I make a living from. So it doesn't leave me much time to pursue other hobbies, but I'm really trying um, lately to make sure I'm including other ho other hobbies in my life other than just the work hobby that I do. Um, Cause what I do for work is also my hobby. So it's really easy for me to always be working because I say, oh, that's my hobby, you know? So of course I'm gonna be working on it, you know? It's what I love to do all the time. So I don't know, but I know that's not always good to do. You can be multifaceted. So I, my old scent, I had a Roland XP 50. It was like from the nineties or something, but I had gotten it in the two thousands and it had finally bit the dust, it's dead. So I found a used one on Facebook Marketplace, which I'm really excited about. And I'm excited to get into it and explore it a little bit more. Hopefully I'll have time to do that this weekend. And then let's see, lastly, oh, it's the end of January. So I'm gonna be participating in the 100 day challenge or 100 day project that is every year. It's usually in April, but I am, but they moved it in um, the end of January, which is great, I think, because you know, it's January and you have all these, I don't know if you're like me, but I have all of these ideas at the beginning of the year. I get off my busy season, which is December, um, the holidays, you know, and it's January and I'm like buzzing with new ideas that I wanna do. So I'm really excited to participate this year. Uh, just to note, just as like a disclaimer, um, I have, I never finish these. I never stick to a everyday thing in any of the challenges I do. I always just do them very loosely and it just sort of gives me in the mode and the mentality of trying to be creative and producing new stuff, but I don't ever really expect myself to stick to something because I mean, I have a job, you know, I have the stuff that I do every day and I know lots of people have a job and they still do the challenges and complete the challenges. But for me, it's maybe just not even my style. Like I'm just really bad at um, being consistent with stuff like that. So um, I allow myself the flexibility for that because that's just what I need. And I'm okay with needing that and just being okay with that. If you want to follow me, um, my Instagram handle is Pauline Stanley Studio. I will be posting there and then maybe hopefully do a video on it, you know, next time or something. So 
hopefully I'll capture some of the making and behind the scenes of that. Um, it's really just, what I'm gonna be doing is just trying to make more art every day. And um, it doesn't have to be every day for me, but I just really wanna be in the groove of being more productive, um, maybe not even productive, but being more creative, I guess productive, with my work and actually not just, you know, as, as a small business owner that that produces products, I spend a lot of my time pr in production, basically producing the products, packing the products, um, doing administrative work, things like that. And it doesn't leave you a lot of time for creative creativity and new ideas. And I think that's just so important, obviously. So I'm trying to figure out how I can include more of that in my life. But these. These challenges are a really great time for me to really try to focus that energy towards create creativity and um, creating and producing new new work. So that's basically what I'm doing with this. I'd love to flush out my portfolio a bit more and fill in gaps where I need a little to um, show a little bit more work. And I'd love to just do some things that are just on my to-do list. I have like a running list of ideas that I want to do. So I just take the opportunity to go through there, whatever I want to do, whatever art I want to make, like just go ahead and just feel free to just go at it. So that's what I'm doing. And then lastly, because you know, I still work on the weekends, um, I am going to be finishing up some shipping, some wholesale orders I have going on. I don't know what's been happening lately, but um, stores are restocking, which is great. After the holidays, the stores that carry my stuff, they run out and they reorder around this time. So I get a lot of orders around this time. Um, way more than I usually do this year for some reason. I don't know why. People are really loving the prints that I've been doing lately. So I'm excited about that. I'm thankful for that. And I will be working on, I had a, my studio assistant here yesterday and she did a bunch of prep for that. And I will just be finishing that up and packing it all out and all that. So this might be all I do for this vlog. It is, I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see if I make more of these. We'll see how I like it. Um, hopefully you guys liked it. Hopefully it was interesting to you and um, just trying to share in a new way. and. I'm excited about it. I don't know. I'm by myself for the most part uh, all day long doing this. So um, it's just gonna be fun to share in a different format. So if, it, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would be really great and really nice. And if you want to make sure you catch more of my videos, um, you can subscribe. Um, and the, the uh, like and subscribe are down below the video. Okay, thanks. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Just finishing up the class here. Just had to finish a couple things. And then just wanted to show you guys all of the prints that my amazing assistant has done, did yesterday. All of those, all of those babies down there, then all of those in there. So I just have to, uh, I see I have to label some of them. Give you guys a quick look. Some of these babies, these little five by seven guys. And these are some eight by tens. Gonna have to label these. And some more five by sevens over here. And then some more 11 by 14s down there. I am in the inside studio today and I am just working on packaging some card orders for some of my wholesale orders I got going on. Uh, it's Saturday morning, unfortunately. 
I've done a lot of work today and not any of the other fun things I talked about. So hopefully we will get to that later on this weekend. And of course, there's always some kid stuff on my desk. They brought me a sandwich. So the one thing I forgot is that the other thing I'm doing this weekend is editing. Um, I have to do this video and then also the class I've been talking about too. So first things first, I'm going to work on it. I don't expect to finish it, but I want to do a little bit of that today um, because it's been such a mental hurdle to jump over because it's been a year since I've done ed any editing. The last videos I made was like around this time last year. So um, the shooting is fun and that's easy, but then the whole remembering how to do everything again in Adobe Premiere, which is what I use, that has been a little daunting for me. So <laughs> wish me luck. I'm gonna work on that a little bit right now sort of fell to the back burner, but um, yeah, I've been interested in doing some video again. Okay, so wow, I for realized, I realized that I had forgotten a lot of things. So, um, I just wanted to give props to this, um, Jordy, not even gonna say the last name, there, it's right there. And this is a Skillshare video, and this is actually how I learned to edit on, um, Adobe Premiere, and I am just basically having to relearn it all over again. <laughs> but now I know how to do it. So it's actually just a refresher course. So it actually is really um, nice. I feel like the points are sinking in even more this time. But um, if you are ever trying to learn Adobe Premiere, I recommend this video on Skillshare. It is a great video for learning everything. Basically, all the basics that you need to know. And don't mind my screen. <laughs> it's ruined, but um, yeah, that's it. Thanks, Jordy.